or interest rate pain to come. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a look at this article discussing, well, predictions of more interest rate increases. And I do not think anyone at all will be surprised or shocked. I mean, we've got another video I want to release later today about Suncorp lifting their rates by 70 points. So, there you go. I think all of us know when we saw these insanely low rates that it, it's bullshit, okay? It's not realistic. The, the sad thing is some people are bought into the media spin from RBA that, uh, well, rates aren't going up till 2024. Yeah, well, about that. I'll, I'll just bring this chart up just to remind everyone. Yeah, and this, it's going to go higher than this. So CBA, ANZ, NAB, and Westpac forecast more interest rate pain. All big four banks have increased their interest rate forecasts as Australia's infra- inflation rate hits 7.3%, the highest since 1990. Combank, ANZ, Westpac uh, have raised their cash rate predictions by two point, oh, sorry, by 0.25%, while NAB has increased its forecast by 50%. Points. So there, the first three are saying we're going up 25 basis points. NAB is 50 basis points. So, I mean, if I'm going to bring up the ASX, uh, um, RBA rate predictor. Let's jump over here and let's have a look at what the predictions are here. There you go. So, an inc- whoa, an increase right now to 3.1%, 54%, and 46% to no change. So, we'll have to see. It's pretty much... Split down the middle. 3% interest rates. That used to be considered, you know, a buffer. It was pretty low. Okay, that was considered low, guys. But it gave them room to go lower if they needed. Westpac is now predicting a 50-point hike in November, followed by a 25-point increase in December. That would take the cash rate to 3.35% by the end of the year. The other major banks are predicting a 25-point hike in November and December, 3.35%. So another 75-point increase for Westpac. So let's let's bring this guy over here. And if we have a look at Westpac right now, the last rates that we have, I mean, they're already bloody high. Look at this, 7%, 7, 6.99%, 7.89% interest only for an investor. And owner-occupier, principal and interest, you're looking at 7.08%. So if you go from a 1.99, which is what many of us have fixed in, to this, you're looking at an 80% increase on your mortgage, guys, on your repayments. So if we go even from that, I mean, what were they predicting? A 75-point increase here, uh, 0.75. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Come on. There we go. You're looking at a 95% increase. So all of you, myself included, who have locked in these insanely low rates, you know this is not real. It's just a fantasy. Okay, This is just the good time. Don't be spending your money without the realization that you may be paying another $2,700 a month in your mortgage repayments. This is for a New South Wales mortgage. We go to the Australian average. Still another two grand a month. And that's this isn't chump change, it's decent money. You know, another twenty four grand a year that you have to take into account. And it's either going to be felt in people just have stretched themselves too far, or it's gonna be felt in discretionary spending. I think most people will for the first time tighten their budgets, you know. Westpac thinks the cash rate will peak at three point eight five percent by March twenty three. ANZ is forecasting a peak of 3.85 by May of 23, and so hardly any difference, really. Oh, a couple of months difference. NAB and Combank don't think rates will go this high. NAB is predicting the cash rate will peak at 3.6 by March 23. Combank is more optimistic, predicting predicting a uh, forecast peak of 3.1% in December. So they're thinking it'll head down from there. It's going to be tough for some people. 
If ANZ and Westpac forecasts is realised, anal- analysis from Rate City showed the average borrower's monthly mortgage repayments could increase by one thousand bucks a month from May to May, based on a five hundred thousand dollar loan. Now, I would hazard a guess that those of you who are watching the channel who are regulars here aren't your average mortgage borrower. If you're interested in this type of stuff and looking into it, hopefully you know what's coming. Hopefully you didn't trust the RBA with their insanely low rates. I know some people were expecting rates to go negative as well, and I can yeah, I can appreciate that. But the only reason I didn't expect that to happen was because well, the governor of our Reserve Bank has shown how that it doesn't actually work going negative. So what does the big four mean in banking? If CBA's more moderate forecast of 3.1% is accurate, then the average borrower's monthly repayments could increase by $834. It's going to be a tough Christmas for many families, with two more rate hikes knocking on the door at the same time inflation is set to peak, Rate City Research Director Sally Tyndall said. Inflation isn't going away without a fight. The RBA is likely to have to throw more firepower at it than it first anticipated. Tyndall said mortgage owners should sit down and prepare their budget now and stress test it against a further 1% to 1.5% rate hikes. Now, that's, that's some really good advice there, to be honest, coming from Sally. You've got to prepare for this, guys. This is not going to be a surprise. Let's have a talk about this. My concern about this is you'll get people that are stretched to the limit and that will well, fuel calls for more government intervention, more regulation, more rules limiting people's borrowing capacity. And all it is, it may be people just for the first time having to actually budget. And that may be enough for them to bitch and moan and complain. We'll start seeing the articles on the ABC. Oh, the bank lent me so much money. I had to skip a meal to make ends meet. Am I, have I just seen too many of these things? Am I getting too heartless to not really, you know, it, it's good. You want, you need to go through tough times to come out a better person. Ad, uh, you know, uh, challenge, <laughs> iron sharpens iron. Ad- adversity makes you stronger. And this is what we're going through as a nation. We've had nothing but good times for pretty much the last 30 years. And now, well, reality is setting in. And some people are going to learn the hard way to not trust how the media puts forward these predictions from the banks or even these quasi-promises, which weren't really promises, from the RBA. But (laughs) that's my concern out of all of this is that it'll ideologically push Australia more to the left. Calls for more government intervention. What do you reckon? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. How are you preparing for these interest rate increases? Have you locked in your mortgage? Do you think that it'll start, it'll peak and go down before you actually get impacted by it? I mean, could that be the best play? As always, thanks for watching. Check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International for other topics I discuss. And if you're a fan and want to support us, you can financially on YouTube or Patreon using our referral links, buying our pocket squares or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says.